Good day, guys. Bing here.、Um, so today we are going to talk about this. So this is um, so um, actually a, a, a sketch.、Um, there was a sketch in this file, but I could not find it anymore. So I just did this sketch to remind myself. And also,、um, actually, I just, just saw this project on Twitter. So basically, it's quite similar. So、um, we are going to. Maybe just model something like like this one. Okay, so and okay, so let's. Oh,、uh, this is what I did.、Um, I had a try、uh, yesterday. So,、um, so it's actually very simple. But、uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a、um, a mass or an、uh, adaptive family which.、Uh, We can control. We can like change the change the length, change the maybe change the the width,、uh, maybe change the you know the the height. <laughs> so just kind of parametric. Okay, so、uh, let's let's do it. So first, we're going to create a new generic、uh, adaptive family. Okay, so. Um, we we will need two adaptive points and create a spline and make a reference line. Okay, so this will be the, the base of this family, and then we are going to create another family. And then we can place onto this reference line. Okay, so let's create a new family.、Um, okay, another. Oh, hang on. Let me think. Yes, another adaptive family. So in this one, we are going to place one point, and then on this point, oh, sorry, make it adaptive first, and then we are going to place a point onto this point.、Um, but I'm actually, actually, I'm, I'm not sure which work plan、uh, we should use. I'm going to just try. Okay, so try. So point draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick the horizontal work plan and place a point onto this. So I'm going to just offset this point a little bit so we can.、Um, it's easier for us. Okay, so to see what's going on here. So I'm going to change this to, to always and also yeah, all good. So now you can see all these. These are the work plan of this point, and then. So we're going to、uh, let me think.、Um, okay, so we're going to add a angle angular parameter. I'll just call it a and、um, instance. Yep. Okay. And okay. So now, if I go to family types, type in a number. So for for example, forty five degree. Okay. So it's rotate in the、um, horizontal.、Uh, Plan. Okay, so that's good.、Um, then、uh, we need to place a, a a reference line, or sorry, not reference line, a model line,、uh, which、uh, will be a profile in this family. Okay, so let's draw a model line. Draw on work plan. Set up work plan. Pick.、Um, I think we should pick the vertical. Work plan and draw it. I'm going to just roughly 1.5 meter this side. Another okay. So this is it, and then click on this.、Uh, make this temporary dimension permanent. Okay, so just create a, create create a dimension onto it, and then this will be the the、um, I think it will be the width. Okay, so let's call it W. And for the W, I'm going to use type parameter because、uh, they will be、uh, the same. And then we're going to I'm going to just、uh, use I'll just use this、uh, dimension and use、uh, edit、uh, witness lines and pick the point and click anywhere and click on equal. Just make it equal. And then once again, I wanted to create that.、Uh, Width dimension again applied to width, so now we have width and also we have equal.、Um, so just have a test. Go to family types. 
four, for example, 4.5, all good. Okay, so now we have this one, and then we can just drag this back, or we can type in zero to just put this back onto that point, that adaptive point. So now let's load this one into here. So, um, oh, actually, I forgot one step. So before we place, I'll just place it here. Escape, select this reference line. I use divided path, and um, so for this exercise, I'm going to maybe just type in eight. But you can always control the number. You can even make it parametric. But uh, I think uh, it might not work because we are going to uh, remove the repeater. So yeah. So just to decide how many you need. Okay. So now let's create. Oh, maybe just use this one and pick new host. Place onto it and select it. Click on repeat. And we have all these. Now we can remove a uh, remove repeater, and so pick the point. So for example, this one is forty five. Um, actually, sometimes it won't work if you you know rotate them first and then try to create a form. So better to do it now. So when the, all the angles are the same. So okay, so it'll be safe, <laughs> and then we can just go. In there, so this is 45. Let's try negative 45. Yeah. So, and then I'll try. I'll select. Oh, wrong one. One, two, three. Negative 45. Okay. So, yeah. So this is the mass. It looks like uh, 45 is. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe we can just let me check. Okay, so maybe we can just uh, create a parameter so we can control them in in uh, anywhere <laughs> uh, where we load this family into. Okay, so um, oh yeah, wrong one. One, two, three, and tab tab four. Oh, once again, maybe I'll just I'll just select these three first and now I'll, I'll, I'll create a parameter let's call it a uh, instance is fine yep okay and then this one's oh, so this one neg negative a let's create and also there's another one here I believe yeah good and I'll call it a negative and instance and okay okay family types negative a equals negative a okay and then i think this one yeah so let's link this to a now we can use one parameter to control both directions so for example if i type 30 so yeah that's better so and i think this is it and also um, oh yeah and also we need to just edit type oh hell uh, yeah, that's fine because because this is a shared parameter, so we won't be able to uh, associate, uh, create a new parameter and link it link that um, to this one. Uh, but we can directly. So if we load this into a conceptual mass or into a project, we can directly con uh, tab select individual of um, this family and then edit type. Okay. So now let's just. Uh, I'm going to load this into a project. So let's create an. Uh, I'll just create a project without any template. Okay, so it's you know, uh, simpler. <laughs> okay, so now, oh hell, we will need some curtain walls. Okay, so maybe I'll just uh, create a new project with with that. Uh, architecture template okay so now we can load this one into that project okay so so this is a two point adaptive point uh, adaptive family so we, we we control the length use two points okay so it plays two so for example another one so say and so the number the number of these um, nodes are fixed so if you want to change you go back uh, into the family okay so 
this is it and then um, if you tab select this individual profile or this family you can change the this so this will be the the width of this structure the depth and also you can change the angle here 30 degree 20 10 okay something like that okay so and let's try oh uh, hell uh, because this is a shared parameter so even these two families share the same so um, if you want to have let me think so yeah can't really and uh, separate them so I think what we yeah so what you can do is just go back to family and go back to this family and you need to uncheck the shared because by default this adaptive fam adaptive family is the shared family so um, sometimes oh hell let me think maybe we can just make the um, instance parameter so let's try that so I'll close this one I oh hell sorry sorry <laughs> wrong one so just go to family types so instead of use this because this is type parameter so instead of type I'll change this one to instance okay and then load into that family and overwrite now I'm going to select every all of these so SA select all so see here this is the width and then we can create a new parameter so width and also I'm going to use um, instance okay so uh, and then load this one into the project overwrite now we can control them individually so become a instance parameter instead of you know type uh, for example this one I'll type 9 meter yeah so this one can be uh, 5 meter okay so good so now um, okay so let's uh, do uh, so for this one, I'm going to place a roof on, on it. So it's very simple. Just go to roof and roof by face. Pick this face, create roof, and that's it. Let me change it to shade so you can see that's the roof. And then um, what else we can do? So we can add some, you know, glazing curtain wall maybe. So let's go to uh, maybe side plan. And I'm going to just go wall. Uh, not 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 this. Just uh, create a wall, W A wall, and pick the. Maybe I'll just use a storefront. Pick the line and pick this line. Okay. So now let's have a look. Go, uh, maybe I'll just pick the other side as well. Go to 3D view. Okay. So it looks like uh, the level of this one, uh, the the uh, the roof is not right, or the mass is not right. So that's fine. We can just move it up okay mv up roughly okay so roughly there now can we attach this one to the roof of course we can um i think but we i think we need to offset them so the entire uh the whole curtain wall is under the roof so currently it's only half i don't think it will work if only half yeah no, sorry, no, no, it won't work. So, what we're going to do is let me just check the the size of the mullion. So, one fifty. Maybe I'll just offset the whole curtain wall by fifth, uh, uh, seventy five. So, O F offset seventy five. I just try to pick the left hand side of this curtain wall. So, make sure it offset the other side. Oh, and also, yeah, Control Z. Sorry. O F. I'll just uncheck the copy, so we want to create an another one. So now the whole you can see, you can tell, you can tell from this. So when you have overlapping face, you will see this. So which which means the whole curtain wall should be under the roof now. So let's try attach. And yep. Rabbit will ask you, do you want to delete these mo uh, mullions? Yeah, delete. 
Now that's it. We have some curtain wall under this curved roof. Okay, and also you can still adjust the angle. So for example, I want to change the angle a little bit. Just oh hell, so you can see the mass. Uh, some mass has changed, but not the roof. We just need to click on update roof. Okay, so that's it. And the same, I'll just offset seventy five, and then attach top and delete and okay that's it so that's something like this okay so let's um do something some extra <laughs> work so i quite like these you know these rafters and all the, the beams um yep how can we quickly create the create this so let's say we have this one okay so first we need to yeah, add a roof so i'm going to just create a roof so roof by face this time i'm going to just pick a thin roof okay so on top of this create a roof and that's a roof and then so we let's just place oh hang on let me just check oh can i just place on oh, yeah maybe i'll just face face is at bottom of the roof yeah, so the roof is on top of the mass now. So um, can we quickly create those uh, the um, what what the structure? Uh, yes, we can. So we can we can. I think the easiest way is to or you can still let me let me try. You can always uh, maybe I'll just move this up a little bit. Maybe I'll just move this away from there. So so it's easy. Oh, hang on. Control Z. I'll move the mass as well. MV. Move them to here. Okay. So one of the method I think. So you can use wall, just a normal wall. Uh, maybe a you know a generic wall. And because when you create a wall, you can use attach to the roof. Once you attach it to the roof, so if you HH these things, you you will have a line, and then you can pick the you can create a beam, pick using you know pick that line, make a C3 snapping, pick that line, and create a beam. Follow oh sorry, that. So if I type HR, you will see this beam will follow this. So this roof. So if I move this wall to you know. Uh, to the left, and I'll just use offset OF, maybe well, a meter without a copy. Let's go there, and if I create another one, CS, pick, you know, and then so another beam. Oh, sorry, so still follow this roof, right? So this is a uh, not that um, easy method to do it, right? So, and we can also do it uh, using adaptive family so i'll just quickly create a new family so generic model adaptive uh, where is it or, or actually you can also use pattern based so if i pick this surface try to pick this surface let me try tab tab oh it doesn't work um uh, because it's a generic model oh yeah we 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 probably need to go into this so let's go into here edit family so because in this family so this is a surface and then we can use divided surface okay so let's just try divided surface and uh, i'll turn off u or grid i'm not sure which one uh not not u turn off v and then we can just uh, increase the number so for number 50 so now we have all these and then you can create um, a pattern based family to uh, something like this okay something like this so you can create a pattern based family with one of the uh, frame uh, beam and then create you can create something like this and also if you do not want to use pattern based family that's fine so let's just delete this pattern a divided surface 
So you can also use adaptive family. So um, did I just create one? Can't remember. Let's just create another, a new um, generic model adaptive. Okay. So in this one, we're going to have two points, one, two, and make adaptive and create a reference line. Okay, so just uh, check the box become a uh, reference line. And then in here, we're going to draw uh, place two profile. So I just uh, had a question asking about um, about this. So see here, so only one profile and then when you try to change the s uh, size of the pro uh, profile, it won't change the, the entire uh, sweep so uh, what you need to do is just place a point actually place two okay so I just oh not this one's wrong it's a big point we need a small point so you draw on face place it and then uh, we're going to uh, a beam should be a rectangular shape so I draw on word plan set word plan pick this and I'm going to just roughly draw it um, how big it need to be um, Maybe let me try it. I think uh, 45 by how about 45 by 190. Okay, so this is the beam, and also don't forget uh, change uh, uh, make the reference size MV center. Okay, is so that now we can see copy CC and pick new host. Okay, so and then we can just create pro. Uh, a sweep a form using these two profile create form and then we can just drag or we can just move that point to to this end so you can just drag the work plan of this point or uh, let me try to pick that point uh, or type in a number one okay one on this side zero on the other side so this is a beam and then we can load this one into the here okay so load this one into uh, i think it should be family one okay so before we we place we um hang on let me think oh we still need um divide your surface because we need those nodes okay so let's use divide your surface turn off v uh, increase this i'll just type in 90 so make it a little bit more <laughs> and then just to turn on the nodes Okay, so and then we can place create component. Just place one on this end, another one on the other end. Just make sure you pick the right one. Let me just check. Okay, this one. Okay, so let's have a look. The orientation it looks like it's not right. So maybe go back and check the always vertical and see what happens. Okay. So that's better. So now we can just uh, repeat. So this will create all the beams uh, for us. And it looks like there's one extra. I'm not sure why uh, this one. Um, yeah, don't know. So don't worry too much about about this, and don't don't try to delete it or you know hide it. Let's try to uh, load this into the project, and it might you know fix this. So load and overwrite and almost <laughs> almost almost there quickly Okay, so it looks like we still have that issue there, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not sure if I can delete DE, it doesn't work. EH, yeah, we can hide it. But yeah, let, let, let's just, um, maybe I'll just go back there and delete it here. DE, yeah, it can, can be deleted in this family. Load this back, overwrite. Hopefully this time I'll, we don't need to wait. Uh, still, uh, Ravi is not that smart because I only delete one element and this 
we're still trying to you know calculate every um, or every beam again okay so that's it so yeah to fix this so i'm going to just uh, tab select one of that and try cs create a similar and just manually place it there all good that's it and then hr because we have the roof on top right that's it and also um yeah how about the the how about there is a beam under there so that would be quite easy just to use the the method i showed you um, before so uh maybe just draw a line or, or sorry draw a wall okay. and attach top attach the roof and we so so we have an edge so we can pick right so just create a beam 3d snapping pick line and then just pick that line uh where's it where is it it's hidden here pick this line and then it will create a beam for you and also of course it's not that um <laughs> how uh we just need to offset okay so um, i'm not sure which one z zero or uh, negative uh 190 maybe I think because that those uh, beams are 190 and that's it so we can delete that wall and we have something you know curved being supporting all this roof structure with the roof and also if you you know at some stage or you, you want to change the change the change the uh, the, the curve the you can always just uh, select the a mass uh sorry not that one hh -h, select this mass and you can change it here so for example i'll change it to five degree and so just give it some time because um it will calculate all these beams okay oh it looks like we have some issue here um but that's that's fine you can always go back here and uh try the same angle and if it doesn't work you just delete some of them and just manually play, place place those uh, beams and then after that yeah probably just need uh maybe you should you should still have that wall there just because um you still need a updated wall and then um pick uh, to, to create this uh beam again i think okay so that, that's that's it let me just change the back change them back to 10 degree i think it's quite nice and okay so that's it um i will i will save this file so you can have a look so it's very it's very simple very quite quite um it's quite nice when you you know try to create something like this simple and uh, easy right if you have any questions please let me know um, and i'll see you next time thank you